Hi, this is Luke. I got a uh, 10 amp hour headway cell here, and it's fully charged. It's been a good cell, and I'm going to cut it in half with a hacksaw now. Casing's pretty strong on this, <clears throat> and my hacksaw blade's very dull. Alright, we're getting some sparks. Amazingly, <clears throat> pretty much no cell heating at all. It's, it's really pretty cool. Inside we can see uh, lots of carbon. I'm going to cut off this other end. Okay, here's the other end of the cell. Now we're going to uh, push out the center apart here. Maybe I'll have to split the case. The wetness you see is from the organic solvent. Okay, we made it through the case. So here are the rolls, you can see this is carbon coated. The base material is copper foil, so you can see. Then there's a separator layer. This is the cathode. It's 20% carbon black to increase conductivity, and the bulk is lithium iron phosphate coating over an aluminum current collector. So the aluminum will be the positive electrode, the copper will be the negative electrode here. And they're both clearly uh, coated with the carbon mixture there. So it's just a roll of this. Nothing in here has even gotten hot while I'm doing this. <laughs> She's just looking at you guys wagging her tail. Hey buddy. She has to come <laughs> say hello. <laughs> hey buddy. Oh, crazy. Hey buddy. Hey buddy. She's a lover girl. We just want to check it out. You got what are you putting together? A telescope uh, or a camera? We're actually filming a video here where I'm taking apart a battery. Oh really? Yeah. Cool. The different layers here. Pretty simple. This is aluminum. This is copper. Both layers appear black from a material known as carbon black 1010 present in the coatings of the cathode and anode current collectors to improve otherwise poor material conductivity and lower internal resistance. So there you go, that's inside a headway cell. Bye.